So this one, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Let's do optic nerve number six, written and drawn by Adrian Tomine or Tomine, drawn in quarterly publications, and I believe this one is from. 99, 1999, all right. Published comic, Optic Nerve. He secured a grant from the uh, Zurich Foundation and his comics took the leap in professionalism. Afterwards, uh, Adrian took Optic Nerve to draw in quarterly publishing. He's also then and now done a fair amount of commercial artwork, including album covers and magazine covers and article illustrations. He's also won Harvey Awards for his work on Optic Nerve, as well as an Eisner for Best Graphic Memoir in uh, 2021 for The Loneliest of the Long Distance Cartoonists. Uh, so Optic Nerve is basically an anthology comic featuring short stories and strips uh, that mostly fall into the category of slice of life stories. Uh, all the writing, art, and lettering is done by uh, Tomine himself. Uh, I'd say uh, many of the stories seem to be perhaps semi-autobiographical. Uh, many stories are just uh, a few pages, uh, but he's also done larger form multi-issue storytelling under title. Uh, most of the stories are sort of about, uh, I guess, somewhat youngish adults uh, struggling to deal with relationships, family issues, jobs, and loneliness. Uh, he avoids a lot of heavy soap opera or melodrama, and the uh, usually strikes this uh, tone of maybe, I'd say, quiet desperation. So, uh, Hawaiian Getaway features Hilary Chan as a sad young adult who seems to be drifting through life. She tries to make connections with other people, but has trouble succeeding in finding fulfillment. It is like many of Adrian's stories on a not quite definitive note. Hillary's sort of a misfit, uh, not so much because of her ethnicity, she is Asian American, but more because of her awkward personality. She spends most of her time uh, in a lonely apartment, playing pranks on strangers, and going on the occasional unfulfilling date. She doesn't seem to be much of an ambitious person, uh, but Adrian is still able to evoke a reasonable amount of empathy and relatability for her. Uh, Adrian has an uh, interesting ability and talent in his comics of being able to suggest a story without too much actual plot or exposition. And he's able to portray a character through realistic dialogue. A lot of empathy works here through first-person narration. It's also very interesting that uh, Adrian is able to write from the point of view of uh, female leads. Even when he writes from the point of view of maybe a bitter guy who's broken up with a woman, he's still able to resent uh, those women with uh, with their humanity. He also avoids a lot of stereotypes. There's a few characters like Maggie Chen here, uh, Ben Tanaka from Shortcomings, and a few other Asian American uh, protagonists. However, Adrian has stated that at first he did, really didn't want to focus on race too much in his comics, but when he did decide to do so, he didn't want to do it in a, a typical way. He didn't want to do the my family was in an internment camp story that he thought that other people thought he uh, should be doing, even though, in fact, his parents did spend part of their childhood in an internment camp. And when he does bring up ethnic identity, it's done in a more uh, nuanced and complex way. So, for example, uh, shortcomings. Uh, Adrian has said that his main art influences are Jamie Hernandez and Dan Clouds and Chris Rare. Uh, the covers have a nice, simple sense of design. He does a great job of balancing gray tones, mid tones, uh, zip tone. Uh, but it's also worth mentioning how he's able to convincingly portray emotion through subtlety, which is really interesting as he's someone who grew up reading superhero comics, which of course are all about exaggeration. Okay. So we get a really nice look at some of the black and white art here. A nice, simple, clean line work, some strong contrast along with, you know, some nice uh, mid tones there. Here, here's some covers to uh, other uh, other issues. You can get a sense of his uh, 
design style. So Hawaiian Getaway is not untypical of Adrian's comics of the time. He combines several different aspects of his work up until that time. So you've got a youngish person who doesn't quite fit in, drifting through life, ethnic identity, clean line uh, art with calm gray tones, nuanced yet convincing expressions uh, with a slightly longer storytelling structure in a kind of ambiguous ending. Uh, so they all come together to form a pretty compelling uh, examination of uh, loneliness. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. You have a good one.